This is a product video for Avery Dennison's Supreme Defense Matte Paint Protection Film. Supreme Defense comes with a matte finish that enhances a vehicle's body lines. It comes with a unique top coat that has a variety of features like self-healing, which is ideal for scratches and rock chips. It is very hydrophobic, which makes it easy for customers to maintain in terms of cleaning, and it helps prevent stains from insects, and it prevents yellowing. In order to get the best results for cleaning, be sure to reference Instructional Bulletin 4.30 and put extra focus on degreasing the edges. Right before install, spray the section down with the slip solution and squeegee off any specks of dirt that may have drifted on during the prep phase. Next, spray the surface with a slip solution using a pressurized sprayer and Supreme Defense can be installed with either bulk or templates. For templates, you can go to this URL to download them. Keep in mind that to ensure a uniform matte finish, use the making a bed logic to hook the corners to get deeper coverage, then even out any tension and the glide solution or gel underneath the film, spray the surface with the glide solution, then adhere the Supreme Defense to the surface with overlapping squeegee strokes. For large pockets of air, pick the film up and even the solution out underneath with an open hand before continuing the squeegeeing process. This will help ensure no bubbles or adhesive lines. Always cut the corners first to get the best results. Then for the side of the hood in this case, make a floating cut roughly one inch away from the edge. Once the excess film has been cut away, lift the hood to expose the adhesive side. Then flush out the slip solution with a tack solution. Form the film evenly underneath the edge. And before cutting, spray the surface and squeegee one more time to check for bubbles. Always click the blade before cutting since Supreme Defense is 6.5 millimeters thick. Cut with the blade angle towards the surface at a 10 degree angle and then remove the excess film down and away to ensure that the main panel stays in position. Always avoid cutting the film directly on the edge and wrap it around at least one quarter of an inch to ensure long-term hold. Always dry the edge with an absorbent, clean microfiber towel. For cuts directly on the main surface, a good tip is to use trim line tape during the prep stage. This helps prevent cutting on the paint, which is critical to ensure happy clients. Remove the excess PPF and trim line tape, then flush the adhesive out with a tack solution before wrapping around the edge. A variety of cuts can be made on one section. Here is a floating cut. Here is a cut back from the edge at 1 16th of an inch, which is a tight edge cut compared with gloss PPF. And around the light is an empty solid cut for maximum coverage. For raised edges, like on the side of this roof, be sure to pick the film up and feed it into the gap. Click the blade to ensure it's extra sharp, then cut away the excess film on the trim line tape. Remove the excess film low and flat away, then pull the trim line tape directly up and flush the adhesive at the same time. For gaps at the window, cut the excess film away with a very short blade angled in so the edge of the matte PPF sits just above the rubber. Always flush it out with a tack solution. For sections that have raised objects, like the side of this Porsche door, use precise cutouts beforehand to ensure a full coverage fit on the body. Once around the raised objects, like the mirror and this door handle, even out the tension on the main surface, then it's very important to focus on getting extra precise placement to ensure that the matte finish covers the gloss paint of the vehicle. Once the film is set, squeegee the Supreme Defense on the main surface and always pay attention to tension and make adjustments before continuing the squeegee process. For underneath the door handle, don't leave a 1 8 of an inch gap, which is common with gloss PPF. Instead, flush it with a tack solution and make a butt joint to ensure an even matte finish. This will dramatically increase quality and happy clients. For body lines, like the side of this door, make a butterfly cut on the body line to avoid the film bunching up on the inside edge once it's wrapped around, and always flush it out, in this case with steam, 
before sealing it. For long pieces, like for the back bumper, use a peel board to secure the panel before removing the liner. Spray evenly as the liner is removed, then work with two installers to safely bring the panel to the vehicle. Always be sure to start at the 50-50 point to ensure even tension on both sides of the bumper, then spread the tension out evenly as it's formed around the compound curves on the sides. Once in position, set it on the surface by squeegeeing. Then on the bottom edge, when possible, make a relief cut to help in relax towards the corners. Once the relief cut is made, shoot to the corners and this will even out the tension, which is critical for long-term durability. For severe recessed areas, like on this license plate, make a perpendicular cut just under the high side, flush the adhesive with a tack solution, then apply the matte supreme defense to the main surface. For tight gaps, like underneath this license plate, make a relief cut, then flush the gap with steam, and then seal the film to the edges. For lights, always cut on the side that the client will not see in order to get proper coverage with minimal tension. For tight gaps, like underneath this molding, use a squeegee assist cut to ensure precision. For all edges with minor tension, use the pod steamer to soften the film to conform it. And once the application is done, use a microfiber towel on the edge to soak up any moisture to ensure a tight seal. Avery Denison Supreme Defense Paint Protection Film is very conformable and can be applied to door handles and mirrors. Once in place, use steam on the door handle to activate the adhesive so it stays flat on the edges, then dry the main surface off before cutting. Cut the excess film away from the edge, 1 16th of an inch just short. This will help ensure a full matte coverage and won't be too close to the edge to have durability issues. Steam to finish once done. On sections where the film has bunched up, like on the bottom of this front bumper, make a relief cut, then flush the adhesive with the tack solution and make a butt joint, being sure to do so along a body line so it blends into the vehicle. This requires professional level cutting, so be sure to practice before attempting this on the vehicle. For gaps where the film is bridging, flush, then hold for five seconds to get proper adhesion. With the install done, keep it inside overnight until it reaches maximum adhesion. The warranty of Supreme Defense is up to five years and it'll remove safely from OEM paint in good condition. For more information on Avery Dennison's Supreme Defense, you can go to this URL. This has been a product video for Avery Dennison's Supreme Defense Paint Protection Film. Proudly produced by the Rap Institute.